Welcome back to Tungsten Tales, joined once again by Sam Gill from Darts News. We're going to very quickly discuss the World Seniors Championship for the players involved, maybe make a very early prediction. It's a it's an interesting tournament with some very interesting names involved. Uh, some names that have been at the top of the sport in recent years, some that have been there many, many years ago. Um, it's a nice mix of names, isn't it? And I'm sure some of those names, there'll be some that we're not not so interested in seeing some we may have seen in the last six months, but there's plenty of names that will will go up on that stage and grab the fans' attention. And I guess that's pretty much what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be a really interesting tournament. Of course, of course, of course, like you say, it's a great mix of names. We we end up having all the all the world champions as such. Um, of course, of course, Phil Taylor and Martin Adams are are, are of course the two are of course the two standouts and two players. You can't really bet against them winning. Of course, of course, Martin Adams has been absolutely brilliant in 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 the in the modus in the modus online live league, modus live league, and night of the darts. You know, why the <laughs> in terms of the iterations of the of the tournaments. But you know, he's been playing as of late, and 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 will be and will be. I can't, I can't remember what age he is. He's he's in his sixties now, isn't he? I'm into his sixties, Martin. Yeah, Martin. Still, still chucking in 117 averages at times last year on the modus league. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Which is absolutely crazy to think, and um, it's, especially considering at times, as as me and you both know, having covered the BDO in previous years, you couldn't you couldn't even qualify for the World Championships for a few years, a few years ago. Mm. So you know, it's it's the, you know it's, it's really great to see him. Of course, of course, with Ted Hankey, absolute character. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a real favourite of, of, of both mine and yours uh, for his walk on alone, and that would be great to see. Even if he can't, even if he can't replicate the standard that he's um, you know previously produced, of course. Of course, Bob Anderson. It'll be good to see him of game again. And Andy Fordham. Andy Fordham's the big one for me in in in, in terms of he ha- he hasn't played at all um, for God for God for, 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 for God knows how long. Jesus. Um. So you know it's going to be really interesting with him. Of course, he ended up having COVID at the turn of the year. Um. And and you know you know kind of said at the time with him, you know he he, he hadn't hadn't even hadn't even picked up a dart for. For a long time, so you know, of course, we, you know, um, you know, can it, can he, can he, can he, can he end up, can he end up putting in that practice to get up to that standard? And then, of, and then, of course, like of John Parr, Richie Burnett, um, you know, and you know, to, you know, play, you know, players like Kevin, Kevin Payton, Robert Thornton, who we 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 end up seeing at the Super Series of late, who performed absolutely brilliantly. So, so you know, it's, it, it's it's a real, it's a real great mix of players. Yeah, and I think the players that are going to have the most success for the players that have come off the tour fairly recently. You mentioned. Robert Thornton, yeah, there he was a tour carder until last year. Um, and at the Super Series in Germany a few weeks ago, he was one of the one of the better players out of the 128 that we had there, uh, despite there being a what 40 odd tour card holders that didn't make the journey. Yeah. Um, you've then got I me mean, Kevin Painter, not so long ago, was a tour card holder. Tony O'Shea was competing on the BDO world stage uh, until sort of 18 months ago. Um so there's a real mix, Richard Burnett as well. We still see him on the Pro Tour now and again. So um, there's some really, really good players involved. There's some names that will will turn up and they probably won't be at the standard that lots of people would expect them to be at. Um, but there are some definitely some, some interesting names in there and I'm sure there will be some surprises along the way. I'm sure there'll be some players that turn up and we're not expecting a whole lot from and suddenly they start throwing in 90 plus averages because um, that's the way it is. It's the way it is in the snooker as well with the World Seniors. So um, interesting tournament and some very interesting names involved. So, Sam, um, I've got to ask you, I mean, early names to to win the tournament. I'm going to presume Taylor and Adams are right up there. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah I, was, I was kind of saying myself there in terms of Taylor and Adams. Of course, Burnett, you've got to look at as well. I've been played, I've been played similarly to Adams a lot on the Modus Online Live League, of course, uh, of course, of course, we ended up seeing Les Wallace return uh, as of late on the live league. He didn't really perform that well, but you know, it's, if he can put that, if he can put that practice in, especially if he hasn't played for a long time, you know, he might he might have ended up doing that one shot having not played in so many years. Because yeah, I don't think I don't think he was seen for about ten years on the tour prior to that. Um, and you know, he's, he's kind of done he's kind of done drips and drabs. Of course, of course, like you say, in terms of Kevin Payne, as somebody who's He's recently dropped. Well, not, I wouldn't say recently. About two years ago, he dropped off the tour. Yeah. But you know, he's, he's still he's still a fair favourite on exhibitions. He he ended up performing good at times at Q School before he ended up deciding to call it a day. So you know, you know, you know, com, you know, compared to compared to others, 
he's, he's, he's a relatively fresh name as well. Somebody if, it, somebody if it's a four-day tournament and he has to go all the way to the end, he, he, I, I, I think he, I think he'll be able to cope better with it than some of the other players. And it's it's what it's all about in my eyes. Some, some of these some of these players won't be able to cope cope under it anymore. And you know it'll be, it'll be quite evident to see see some of them might end up coming some of them might end up coming back for almost a bit of a one shot and then uh, you know um, kind of kind of tail off in the next round if they get through, depending on what the format is, which we don't know as of yet. Of course, like you say, in terms of Robert Thornton, same sort of thing. Terry Jenkins, who we haven't mentioned as well, you know, some somebody who's only recently just retired. You know, I think, I think, you know, I think, I, I think, I think personally, he could put in, put in a great run. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just going to be really intriguing. But yeah, in, t- in terms of the main names, I, I would I would kind of say Taylor's a favourite. Marley only ahead of ahead of the likes of Adams, Thornton, Painter, and Burnett. Probably, I, I, I'd probably say you are ultimately your top five. And, um, and yeah, so I, I don't know, don't know what you think about that, Josh. Main, mainly the same. Yeah, I can't really disagree with those names to be honest. Um, it's got to be the players that have got the more recent experience. Um, just looking down the list now, there's no no real names I would want to add to that. Um, you could pro- yeah. you could possibly mention someone like a Wayne Warren. Um, he's got more recent yeah. experience of winning a tournament in obviously the BDO World Championships, but. Um, it depends what what form he's in, how much he, he practices. He's obviously not a, a big practicer anyway, Wayne Warren. So if he was able to put the practice in and and get to his game to where it was at the World Championships, what what eighteen months ago is that when it, when it was? It seems a long time ago. Um, then Wayne Warren would have to be a a big a bigger uh, shout for the title. But yeah, Painter Taylor. Martin Adams, they're your names that you're looking at. Robert Thornton as well, of course. Um, it's hard to look past them, to be honest, because they've got a lot more, a lot more recent experience than some of the other names on that list. Which, um, if you want to view the full list, head over to dartsnews.com. There's still a few more names to come, I believe, as well. Um, we're not sure, yeah. we're not quite sure who they are, but um, yeah, I think, I think I think there's about three more names to be honest off the top of my head. And then of course, then of course you have the two qualifiers as well who will come for at the end of the year. So. Uh, in, in around November time, I think I think I think before it ends up getting played in in February next year. So it's, okay. it's gonna, as usual, be a very busy time at the start of next year, like like it often is. Yeah, going to be a very busy time early next year. Um, tremendously looking forward to that. I've got to say. Um, do we know how those qualifiers work? Is it are they open qualifiers or is there going to be invites yeah. for them? Yeah, as, as long as you're over the age of fifty, I think I think um, it's, I think. I've got, down in like Reading, uh, Reading Way. I think uh, I think Jason Francis, of course, runs it. He's, he's got a few snooker clubs down in like Reading. Uh, uh, yeah, I think yeah, I think I think yeah, I think it is Reading. Uh, where, where it's going to be played, it's very much open. Okay. Uh, two players, two players over fifty will come through that uh, will, uh, come come through that field and go on to play in the tournament. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see who turns up at that. Depend on depend on who else is announced as a wild card. So yeah. Yeah, very interesting to add to the portfolio of tournaments towards the end of the year. Obviously, got the the flagship one in the PDC World Championships, possibly a WDF Worlds. Q School will be around that region as well. Um, obviously, the Masters, the Premier League will be restarting around that time. Um, I'm not going to have a, a spare weekend, that's for sure. <laughs> Neither are you. So, uh, yeah, but it's good to have plenty of darts on our screens, and uh, it'll be interesting to see plenty of the names back. So. Uh, We'll have news if there's any more any more names announced. And once we've got a full field, we'll run you through that for sure. Um, but thank you very much for joining us. If you've got any thoughts on the, the players involved in the World Seniors, any names that you'd like to see that aren't already on the list, then please let us know below and we'll uh, we'll see what we can do for you. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon.